Here are our top stories. Football superstar Lionel Messi attends the 10th Dubai International Sports Conference as guest of honor. Dubai Sports Council launches 2016 to 2021 strategic plan. Adventurers and explorers come together at the Dubai Travelers Festival and meet reality TV star and beauty blogger Lily Galici on Celebrity Fit. I'm Zahira. Join me in this week's edition of What's Up. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, graced the opening session of the 10th Dubai International Sports Conference. He was joined by sports leaders in the region and by football superstar Lionel Messi of FC Barcelona, who was the special guest of honor at the event. Held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai and Chairman of the Dubai Sports Council. This year's event also hosted stars including FC Barcelona President Joseph Maria Bartomeu, Frank Lampard and Gianluigi Buffon. The two-day conference focused and debated on everything football with the opening session topic centering on how to set up a professional football club model. With the world of football going through tough times Organizers have deliberately chosen the theme of challenges and achievements in football as the central theme of the conference. I think it's a, it's a very good step from the Dubai Sports Council that the six clubs in, uh, in uh, Dubai, six professional clubs, that the technical directors of the academies uh, meet each other very often. And to talk about the developing um, uh, of football in Dubai and with that also to learn from each other and to, um, yeah, to give the experiences uh, to each other. And it's all to, to get one goal and one goal is to, to um, improve uh, youth football in Dubai. Sport is a very important um, uh, main thing. So education, school education, and sport together is a, is a main thing in, in the UAE. Uh, learning good education, learning uh, a healthy life, and in a healthy life there's obviously uh, sport. So sport is a very important thing in, in this uh, in this community. One goal of the of I think from the from all the rulers and for sure the ruler of Dubai is is uh, wearing that because uh, Dubai is growing and growing means when you are uh, open you for the, for the world. On the other hand, you need examples, you need idols, you need idols for youth. So when you have talented uh, youth uh, players or sports of athletes, uh, that are the examples for the youth. So if it is cycling or football or an athlete, uh, athletics. When you have examples, you have idols, yeah, then you can, then they see an idol. I want to go also that goal. So that's very important to create that and um, to use it also. The Dubai Sports Council has announced the launch of its new strategic plan 2016 to 2021. The new strategy is drafted to attain several goals, 
Some of these goals include supporting the development process in the sports sector, enhancing the status of Dubai as a favourite world sports destination, and creating a comprehensive sports environment that meets the motivations of all classes of society. The new strategy is planned to enable all classes of community to enjoy a healthy and entertaining life. It gives full consideration to people of special needs and women, provides complete sports support for talents and local staff to represent sports associations, and backs creativity and innovation to gain excellence in the sports field. The new strategy also supports the smart sports city and gradual conversion towards a smart sports sector. His Excellency Saeed Harib, Secretary General of the Dubai Sports Council, tells us more about the strategic plan. This is the third time we do it. We are working parallel with a government strategy. And from the government strategy, we have a part of that as a sport. And our consideration more how to develop our sport locally and internationally. And how we can also keep the uh, infrastructure of the sport as, as we have started before. Don't forget Dubai is a city well known uh, internationally, so we keep that uh, as a main hub for all the sport. That part of the also Dubai Sport Council to looking for the future. We finish the page of the last uh, strategy. Now we are uh, open the new page for new strategy. So definitely we improve what we have it before. We try to do our best to see more and more, to uh, encourage uh, all the uh, society of the people who living in Dubai to be take a part in it. With the aim of spreading awareness and educating the public on treatment and management of iron deficiency, two health organizations launched the Gulf Anemia Alliance project. The Emirates Gastroenterology and Hepatology Society and Vifa Pharma signed a memorandum of understanding to lead the fight against this disease. According to the World Health Organization, iron deficiency is the most common nutrient deficiency worldwide. It is estimated that up to 5 billion people suffer from iron deficiency, including around 111 million people in highly developed countries. But it often remains undiagnosed with numerous patients suffering unnecessarily. Physique TV was able to speak to Dr. Mustafa Sabri to give us a deeper understanding about iron deficiency and the importance of this alliance. Iron deficiency anemia is an important problem uh, because uh, if you leave the body in, in need for iron, which is a, an important part of the of the blood and the blood forming uh, blood forming in the body, uh, all the body can be affected by this uh, loss of iron and by, by this continuous anemia. It can affect the cardiovascular system, can affect the nervous system, can affect the activity, can affect the uh, the breathing. Uh, so all the body will suffer if you hear iron deficiency anemia. Usually. It is not a disease by itself. It is a disease accompanying other diseases. And it's, a, it's a, a, a consequence of other diseases. So if you treat the original disease, you will treat the iron deficiency anemia. Uh, concerning the people uh, practicing sports, I think having deficiency anemia will affect, will affect their, their performance. So that's why uh, those people should be checked for uh, any iron deficiency. There are three main causes, or the, the person is not taking enough iron and he's not taking enough uh, red meat, uh, so the, the main source of iron, or the person is losing iron, he's losing it by losing blood, 
like the ladies having uh, excessive uh, menstruation, like the somebody having bleeding per rectum or, or having bleeding from other from other places, or maybe the body cannot use the iron properly either. The the bowel cannot absorb that iron. Having a chronic disease, sometimes the body will lose the ability to utilize this iron. This alliance should be not only between the, the, gastric, the gastroenterology society and, uh, and the uh, companies, the pharmaceutical company. It should, the alliance should be between all the other communities dealing with uh, anemic patients. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, Amy and Fira swim with the dolphins for On The Go. Adventurers and explorers come together at Dubai Travelers Festival and meet reality TV star and beauty blogger Lily Galici on Celebrity Fit. Welcome back. You're still watching What's Up. This week, Amy and Firas headed to AquaVenture at Atlantis the Palm Jumeirah to try out a different type of water activity, swimming with the dolphins. Let's watch how it went. Welcome to On The Go. Join us as we travel by land, sea and air to show you the coolest hotspots around. We'll go on healthy food trips, exciting adventure outings and fun parties. Plus, we'll show you what's new and trending. So fasten your seatbelts because you're in for a ride. Today, Faraz and I had a dolphin interaction experience at Dolphin Bay at the Atlantis on the Palm. Dolphin Bay is situated inside AquaVenture, which is the water park at the Atlantis. So Faraz and I got here super early and enjoyed a nice stroll through the water park to make our way for our appointment with the dolphins. Now this isn't my first time at Dolphin Bay. I actually came a few years ago with my sister and I knew back then it was an amazing experience. So I was super excited to try it out again. Nice to meet you guys. Come on in guys. Thank you. So when we arrived here at Dolphin Bay, the first thing that we had to do was get changed. So we hit the changing rooms where we put on our wetsuits. So once we changed into our beautiful wetsuits, uh, we met with Sean, who's one of the instructors here at Dolphin Bay, and he just gave us a little brief about our experience and what we can expect to see. You're going to be doing a dance. So it's not about holding on. It's really just about lifting your arms above the water and touching lightly on the dolphin's flippers. The dolphin will bring the flippers up out of the water to touch your hands. So you don't have to put your hands down, let the dolphin come up to you. He also introduced us to Sarah and Yvette, who are other trainers here at Dolphin Bay. We'll just be careful when we're in the water not to be touching their eyes, their mouth, their blowhole, and their private area. So we'll give them lots of rubs, they're very tactile. We just don't want to be poking them in the face. So once we got into the water, Yvette brought over Black, the dolphin. Faraz and I all gave him a little massage and was touching him. Um, it's important to stay away from the eyes though and the blowhole so they, we don't suffocate them while they're in the water. <laughs> so once we got familiar with black, it was time for us to have a little smooch and we did a dolphin case. Um, this was really nice, so we uh, held our hands out in the water for the dolphin to come towards us and then we lifted him up for a little peck. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <Best I've had. laughs> 
So after our little smooch with Black, Faraz and I decided that we wanted to give him a big squeeze. So we did the hug with Black and that was really nice as well. They just have such a wonderful texture and they kind of feel a little bit squishy. So after we'd finished in the shallow water, we went further into the pool uh, and we did a deep water kiss. This was a little bit harder to do than in the shallow because we had to keep ourselves afloat and I was also scared to put too much pressure on the dolphin in case I like kind of dunked him under the water. Um, so I was like really trying to tread water and stay afloat uh, while I gave Black yet another kiss. So if you've never touched a dolphin before, it is probably one of the most magical experiences that you can have. These animals have just such an incredible energy about them, almost their therapeutic energy. Um, and they just feel so nice. Like you just want to squidge them. Like they're, they're firm and squidgy and like they've got a very soft feeling. They almost feel a little bit rubbery. Um, and this is due to the fact that they actually exfoliate their skin 12 times per day. So this is how they keep this very smooth feeling skin. So the highlight of today was definitely doing the belly ride with the dolphins. Now go ahead and just keep your arms straight belly to belly like Superman style. So don't look like this. <laughs> We had to swim a little bit further out into the pool and the dolphin was sent to us and he came up at the side of us um, with him on his back with his belly up in the air and you have to grab his two fins and he takes you for a ride across the pool and it's just such a wonderful feeling it's so exhilarating and I would do it time and time again. It's just great to be with these animals one-on-one uh, -on -one, and you really feel the power of them and how strong they are. Um, if you think how, how hard it is for you to pull another person in the water, these animals do it with so much ease. They just whiz you across the pool. It's just out of this world. <laughs> okay, Black, you win. <laughs> So after my dolphin experience, I had the chance to talk with Sarah, who's one of the trainers here. And uh, she just told me a little bit more information about the different packages that they offer, and also gave me some more information about the dolphins. So Sarah, Faraz and I have just had an amazing dolphin interaction. So if other people want to take part in something like this, who is it suitable for? Absolutely, uh, meeting our dolphins is suitable for everybody. We have five different interactions, including a photo fun where you're just going to be getting your feet wet, a shallow water experience for the whole family where you're only gonna be in the water to about your waist, as well as two swimming programs and a dive program if you're certified. So it's suitable for people of all swimming ability and different age groups. Absolutely, everybody can have an experience in the water to meet our fantastic animals. So can you take us through what we did in the water, both Faraz and I? We're gonna head into the water. If you're doing our encounter program, you'll have a kiss, a dance, or play a game with one of our dolphins, and you're gonna get an opportunity for a big family group hug also. If you'd like to be swimming in the water, we have options that include kisses, dancing, belly rides riding on top of our dolphins, as well as uh, a royal swim program where you're going to have a boogie board and do a foot push and a dorsal ride with more than one of our dolphins as well. Of course, in every one of our programs, you're also going to see our dolphins jumping and showing off and see all that power and strength that these amazing animals have. So can you just tell us a little bit about the dolphins, like how they live here? Absolutely. So during the day, our dolphins have six to seven sessions. They might meet guests a couple times a day in different ways. They'll play with toys, they'll do training sessions, always something different in a different place with different animals. It's important they're always learning, having a good time. We also have a preventive medical program where every morning we have a daily physical examination. Um, including any of our medical procedures we need to do as well. And from there, we've got training and fun going on all day. Amazing. So I know our dolphin, Black, he was saying, how old is he again? Black's 12 years old. He's one of our teenage boys. Okay. And he eats how many? 
He eats about six kilos, roughly six kilos of fish every wow. day. Wow, so they've got a, a big diet ahead of them. They do, a big appetite, but always fun. So it's really nice to see the dolphins doing their things while we can experience that with them. <laughs> So we're at the Western Abu Dhabi Golf Resort and Spa. The Dubai Travelers Festival was held at Mashrif Park to provide a platform for international travelers and explorers of all ages to share their stories to visitors. The event also featured a photography exhibition that portrays the remarkable journey taken by these daring men and women. It also included a number of workshops and contests along with seminars, lectures and film showings. Here are some of the highlights of the event. Travelers Festival, they are people with unique achievement around the world. Such people, they go around the world by car, some of them by bicycle, some by boat, by airplane. So those people, they come here, we do photo exhibition for them, and we learn from their experience, and they learn from each other. And uh, it is very unique uh, to have all these people with big achievement, to have them here in Dubai, city of the festival. Our team, we drove around the world by car six years. We have Saeed Al Ma'amiri, he climbed Everest. We have uh, two different teams, Dubai Rider and other team. They tour the world by motorbike. So we start to have now Emirati team. They have world achievement. We are happy and uh, we succeeded very nicely. Uh, this time was very high and we made it like a traveler's environment. Live cooking, photo exhibition in open area. Because this time the weather is nice. And we gave uh, a time for each one travelers to have presentation and talk about his trip. When we come back, 128 competitors participate in the Aduba Bodybuilding Championships in Abu Dhabi and meet reality TV star and beauty blogger Lily Galici on Celebrity Fit. Beauty blogger Lily Galici became famous for her stint in the reality TV show Shars of Sunset. She was recently in Dubai for a series of makeup masterclasses and we were able to have a chat with her for this week's Celebrity Fit. It's a big change, you know, I started my career in life as a lawyer. I just wasn't really happy. I wasn't fulfilled going into a courtroom every day with my hair in a bun and no makeup on. So I decided to follow my passion and follow my dreams, which were in fashion and beauty. I literally just decided one day to quit and to start something new. And one step at a time, I got to where I am today. <laughs> 
So I have a few different brands. They're all in fashion and beauty. My fashion line is called Want My Look. It's an online boutique at wantmylook.com. We sell everything from gowns to bikinis to shoes to clothing to accessories. I have beauty brands. I have Lily Hair, which is a line of hair extensions, and Lily Lashes, which has become the most popular in the GCC region because we released the very first collection of 3D lashes. And these are custom pre-stacked lashes, lots of drama, lots of flair, and they've just become so popular among US celebrities that they have expanded into the world including the Middle East so I'm really humble and happy and you guys will hear it here first we're releasing two new collections at the start of the new year and so we have some really exciting things coming finding time to exercise. I like to do spin classes, Pilates, work out with a trainer and to eat as healthy as possible. We are in Dubai doing Mastering Glam, which is a makeup seminar taught by Ariel Tejada. He is one of the hottest new celebrity makeup artists in the US. You have seen his work on everyone from Kim Kardashian to Kylie Jenner to Gigi Hadid. So we brought him to the GCC so that everybody here can learn his techniques. And I was his model today. I'm not always his model, but we wanted to do something really special for Dubai. My advice to everybody out there is to do what makes you feel beautiful. Beauty starts from the inside as a feeling. If you're confident, if you feel beautiful, you will exude that beauty and you will be beautiful. So rather than following trends or what celebrities are doing, do what you think works best for you, for your face, for your body type, and you will be beautiful. As far as following your passion, my advice to that would be to always believe in yourself 110% and always have confidence confidence in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself if you don't believe in your product how can you expect anyone else to so believe in yourself and never let anybody change that feeling. hi everyone it's Lily Galici and you are watching physique TV be your best Hundred and twenty-eight competitors participated in the first Aduba Bodybuilding Championships in Abu Dhabi. The event was held at Abu Dhabi National Theatre and judged by Emirates Bodybuilding Federation. Here are some of the event highlights. This event was held in Abu Dhabi, one of the biggest events in the UAE. It's the first of its kind. The importance of ha uh, having this kind of event is um, basically to make uh, the athletes in a good position and having them in a good healthy. Basically to help uh, the athletes, to help people to, to compete with each other, to not make them to waste their time in any different things, to make them happy by competing and by connecting with each other, by making some connections and making friends. Some people, they need motivation, they need this kind of events to get to be in a good shape instead of going and wasting their time. If you want to prepare for this competition, you have to prepare it in advance for six months and, have, and be in a good shape. They have to be healthy, they have to track their food throughout the day. It's, it's going to take at least 12, 12 weeks.
first ever beach run in the UAE will be held on the 16th of January at Um Sakim Beach Park. This fun-filled family beach run is untimed and open for runners of all abilities. There will be three categories with different start times. The 7.2 km run starts at 7 a.m., the 3.6 km race at 9 a.m., and the shortest 1.8 km run at 10.15 a.m. The reason behind this event is that we've noticed at Sport360 that many community events and international events actually take place uh, inland. And with such an amazing coastline, we thought, why wouldn't it be a great idea to do an event at the beach? Uh, so we came up with the concept of the Beach Run uh, DXB. Uh, a primary objective behind the event is really just to get the UAE nation fit and active. Something different, something unique, something special to do, uh, and more importantly, to do it with your family. So it doesn't matter your age ability, doesn't matter, sorry, it doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter your ability, whether you're a serious runner or, or fun runner, it's something for everyone with the free distances that we have. And to top it all off, we've got a big uh, family carnival atmosphere on the beach. Our objective is to roll this out across many locations in the UAE along beautiful coastlines that we have. So if this works very well, we plan to do one in Abu Dhabi, one to do plan in Ras Al Khaimah and so forth. So as a, to benefit the UAE as a whole, it's about getting people active, getting families out together and enjoying activities together as a family with their friends. Again, here are the headlines. Football superstar Lionel Messi attends the 10th Dubai International Sports Conference as guest of honor. Dubai Sports Council launches 2016 to 2021 strategic plan. Adventurers and explorers come together at the Dubai Travelers Festival. And reality TV star Lily Galici shares her beauty and fitness tips on Celebrity Fit. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any comments or suggestions, connect with us on our social media pages. I'm Zahira, I'll see you next time.